Hello everybody, Drifty here from Driftwood Gaming, and in this RPG Maker Envy tutorial, I'm going to help Chris in with a simple event. He says, okay, so this is what I'm trying to accomplish here. He says, player steps on an invisible event, triggering two events uh, four blocks away from him. These two events are two kids chasing each other through a fixed route. How would I go about doing this? By the way, I've already figured out the two kids events. All, uh, all I need help with is activating the one-time switch. Well, in order to show you how to do that, I had to recreate the whole thing, so no big deal. I'll just show you. So I've made two events here. These are the, the kids that are going to be running around in a circle chasing each other. But instead of using a fixed movement route, I'm using a custom movement route. And you're going to have more flexibility if you use a custom, because then you can design uh, the way that they move. So uh, I'm going to show you how I've got it right now, and I'll show you how to make it, and then how to make an al alternate way uh, of doing it. So right now, there's, they're not there, but I've got some, uh, some triggers right here, invisible triggers that you're trying to activate. So we can have it so that they're there just standing around and then they start running when you hit the trigger, or we can have them invisible and then they just appear when you uh, step on that trigger, however you want to do it. I'll show you both ways. But how we have it now, they run around and the way that I've got it set up, you can't lock up the game and the player can't you know mess anything up no matter what he does he can block them he can get in between them if he's fast enough Ugh, let me see if i can do it huh. get out of there I... yeah i was doing it a second ago anyway let's take a look at that event so your invisible trigger that you're trying to set up you're going to set the trigger to player touch you're going to set the priority to below characters and you're going to just do a simple control switches. So you'll insert a new control switch, create a new switch, call it whatever you want. I've called it invisible trigger. And we're going to turn that switch on. That's all that's going to happen when you step on that uh, that that uh, space, this, uh, this invisible event. Remember, it's player touch below characters. And then you can just copy that, paste it wherever you want to. That's with uh, control C and control V. Or you could also right click it copy it sometimes you have to left click it and then right click it for some reason you know little things like that <clears throat> but looking at these events the condition if you want them to be invisible until you hit the switch then you do this on page one if you want the kids to be there but standing still until you step on that switch you would do it this way copy this event page paste it and then uh, on this first one what you'll do is you'll set the the movement to fixed that's gonna make it so that they don't move at all um, the priority same as characters uh, the trigger it's going to be action button for that so this trigger right here is also gonna be uh, let me see it's going to be uh, auto run or no parallel process we're gonna set this trigger to parallel process for some reason I had it on player touch and it was working fine um, because there was nothing in the contents, but this is going to be better off uh, an invisible contents parallel process or action button. Actually, it doesn't really matter as long as you don't do auto run. Because uh, if you do auto run, it'll freeze the game. But any of these other ones will work fine. I would just probably leave it action button. So the only difference here is on this first page, you have a fixed movement so that they're not moving. Second page, you've got a custom movement. So when you're d defining a custom movement, you're going to click on route. Now what I've done here is to make them run in a circle. I started this one in the in the bottom of the circle. So if there's like four, if you see like uh, nine squares, it would be like uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. He would be on seven or wait, eight. He would be on eight. So he's going to turn right, go up, go up go left go left go down go down and then one more right will put him in a, a full circle so we're gonna do uh, repeat move uh, movements you're gonna keep that box checked it should be checked from default um, you don't want to do skip if cannot move the reason why is if you get in their way it might offset their movement a little bit like it might block half of their movement so they'll start doing a circle and then you'll block their movement but then they'll get halfway through the movement route and you, then you uh, you get out of their way and then they finish the other half but it, they'll be like sometimes repeating the same things. Anyway, it'll be a big mess and they'll eventually run into like a wall and you'll lock up the game. So you don't want to skip if cannot move, but you do want to repeat movements if you want them to run into a circle like that. Um, the, 
The thing about this one, uh, on this page, you're going to uncheck condition. So on page one, there's no condition. He's just standing there from the beginning. On page two, the you select that invisible trigger that we created uh, in this event over here. When you walk over it, trigger player touch below characters, it turns on that trigger. That trigger is controlling these events. So in this event, if page one, he'll be there with no he'll be there from the beginning but if you've stepped on that that switch then it's gonna turn on this uh, trigger uh, this switch and it's going to activate this page which is the custom movement so he's gonna start moving at that point now let's just update this event with a copy paste go over here um, it's actually can be action button these don't I don't know why like I said it doesn't matter as long as they're not auto run should be fine page one no conditions fixed movement page two we've got our custom route on this one since he's in a different location I've designed the movement route if he would be like on a d-pad one two three four five six seven eight nine he would be on the one so he's gonna go down down right right up up left left and he's in a full circle like that repeat movements no skip if cannot move and uh, that's basically it let's double check this to make sure that they're uh, they are there before I step on anything so they're just standing around <clears throat> and as I yeah, there they are. They're standing around and they're not actually, they don't have any content, so nothing happens when I try to activate them. But if we step on the switch, boom, they start running around. So Chris, hopefully this video helped you. If you have any more special requests, please put them in the comments below. Thank you guys so much for watching. Um, you guys are awesome. Remember to like, favorite, share, and subscribe if you like this sort of content. We'll see you in the next tutorial.